genetic studies show that people can live up to 144 years. Proper diet, exercise, and parasites can increase life expectancy. During archaeological excavations, a parasitic organism is found in an ancient layer of earth, which can stop the aging process of its host. Dr. Hybera investigates the ancient creature further. He is approached by Dr. Futaba, the owner of the large Hominus Research Laboratory. He suggests experimenting on living humans to see how the parasite will take root in test subjects. Mr. Futaba makes it clear to Dr. Hybera that he cannot refuse this offer. Some time passes, and the story takes us to a boarding school set up at the Hominus Laboratory. The school brings up the most intelligent kids in Japan, their IQ reaches 150 points. After class, girlfriends Hikari and Yuri deliver bedding and discuss their futures. Yuri asks her friend whose DNA she wants to get to change her genome. The girl herself admits that she wants to get DNA from Maki, the prettiest and smartest student in the school. On the other hand, Hikari does not share her friend's wish and does not want to change her DNA. From childhood, boarding school students are told about their destiny. More than 30 years have passed since the discovery of the parasitic organism named Soma. Thanks to studies on humans, it was found that the ancient organism affects the host's mitochondria and changes the properties of vital cells. The parasite can stop aging and increase the host's lifespan to 144 years. After this discovery, scientists cloned Soma. It was decided to implant the ancient parasite only in selected citizens of Japan, people in excellent physical shape and with a high IQ. Hominus boarding school students were separated from their parents as children and implanted Soma into their bodies. Since then, they have been prepared for the fact that they will have to devote all 144 years of their lives to working for their country. Hikari is the only one of the fosterlings who disagrees with her destiny. In her conversation with Yuri, the girl recalls her father's stories about the world beyond the walls of Hominus. There, people can choose who to love and what to do. Hikari suggests that Yuri form an alliance against the Soma, and her friend, fascinated by tales of a free life, agrees. At night, Yuri tries to sneak into the boy's room to give Maki a love letter. An alarm goes off in the corridor, and the girl is taken away by the boarding school security, and her letter falls into the hands of the teacher. The next day, Yuri is absent from class. The teacher tells the pupils that what Yuri did was stupid and shouldn't happen again. After these words, Maki chuckles approvingly. Hikari is outraged that the boy is mocking the feelings of his girlfriend, who is in love with him. She is furious at Maki, but her teacher stops her anger. After class, Hikari comes to visit her friend in the hospital room. Yuri tells her that she is forced to declare remorse for her actions every day and takes many pills. The girl wonders if Maki hates her after what happened. To avoid offending her friend, Hikari has to lie that the guy is worried about her. Yuri asks her friend if she's having second thoughts about forming an alliance against Soma. The girl admits to Hikari that she doesn't feel she is living her own life. Hikari hugs her friend and tells her that she believes they can get out. A few days later, Yuri returns to her studies. A happy Hikari runs to greet her friend, but she pays no attention to her. She stands in line for food with the other students with an unemotional expression. Hikari tries to get through to her friend and asks her about their alliance. Yuri pretends not to understand what the girl is talking about and moves on in line. Hikari realizes that her friend has been brainwashed and is now alone in her fight against Hominus control. The girl steals some bedding and binds a rope from pieces of cloth. She ties one piece of rope to a pipe and another to the parasite Soma on her back. Hikari jumps off the chair and uses the rope to tear the parasite off herself, screaming in pain. Mr. Futaba meets Dr. Hybera again and tells him what happened to Hikari. For the first time in 30 years of experiments on living humans, the host decides to get rid of the ancient parasite on his body. This incident bothers Hominus, so the man asks Dr. Hibara to influence the girl and change her mind about Soma as soon as possible. Meanwhile, Hikari is sent to a hospital room, where she is forced to take medication. Keeping in mind how the medication has affected Yuri's mind, the girl only pretends to swallow the pills. Hikari arrives for her first appointment with Dr. Hybra. The man tries to get the girl to like him and says he will help heal her mind. Hikari looks around and sees her teacher and Dr. Futaba watching them intently. The girl refuses to talk, and Hybera suggests she continue at another time. The doctor asks the owner of Hominus to have a session with Hikari alone in her room so that the girl can relax and open up. The one thing that Futaba cares about is that Hikari agrees to take Soma again. Therefore, the man makes concessions and allows the doctor to talk to the girl alone. Dr. Hybera tries to speak to Hikari again, and this time the girl answers him back. The man assures the student that she will soon get better and return to her friends. Hikari tells the doctor that she has no more friends left. Then the man asks the girl to tell him what she needs to do to make her feel better. Hikaru confesses that he wants to see the world beyond Hominus. Mr. Futaba has been watching their conversation on a video camera. He allows Dr. Hybera to take the girl outside of the boarding school. After the walk, the doctor takes the girl to his home. 
She asks the man to read her a story her father used to read to her as a child before going to bed. Listening to the story, the girl falls asleep peacefully on the doctor's shoulder. After covering the girl with a blanket, the man hastily begins to gather canned food and water bottles into his traveling bag. His packing is interrupted by Mr. Futaba, who comes to his house unannounced. He tells the doctor that he has decided to personally come for Hikari and ensure that nothing happens to her. Mr. Futaba thinks that Hikari is the perfect specimen for research. So he plans to implant Soma directly into the girl's spinal cord so that in the future, she won't be able to cut the parasite off herself again. At a loss, Dr. Hybra asks his superior when he plans to implant the parasite, but Mr. Futaba rudely interrupts him. He reminds the doctor that he must make Hikari realize the full benefits of Soma and advises the man to do his job. The men screams awaken Hikari. She looks at the doctors in horror and realizes she cannot escape her cruel fate. The next day Hikari lies in her room, awaiting surgery to implant the parasite. Hiding her face behind a mask, Dr. Hybra walks in on her. He tells the girl that the big world outside can hurt an unprepared person like her. But it would also be wrong for anyone but herself to control her life. The doctor removes his hospital gown, and Hikari sees that he too has a soma implanted in him. The man says he doesn't want the girl to suffer as he did. The doctor hides the girl in a dirty laundry cart and stealthily takes her out of the boarding school. There, Hikari is waited on by Heibaru's friends and takes the girl away from Hominus. At the end of the movie, we are shown Hikari's memories of the day she was allowed to go outside the boarding school with Dr. Heibaru. They went to an amusement park where they rode the carousel and had fun. Then Hikari confessed to the doctor that she had finally realized the freedom her father had told her about as a child. It was these memories that helped Hikari decide to escape from the boarding school she hated, to experience freedom again. And the same walk prompted Dr. Haybar to go against Hominus and help free the girl from the clutches of the evil corporation.